Hello, and welcome to episode 11 of Let's Play Civilization VI. In the last episode, we had concluded a peace treaty with the Brazilians, and they have ceded uh, these two cities to us. But I am still at war with the Congo, that's why I am attacking. Oh. Sliver short. Can I? Hmm. Not quite. That's too bad. won't let me upgrade for some reason. Oh. Okay, well, we'll sit on that for a bit. But you can see here I now have a three-star army. That's a three units combined into one. So that's pretty much the biggest army I can have. Or uh, strongest unit type I can have. Well, not necessarily unit type. I assume there's modern, in uh, modern infantry, but this largest unit type I can have is uh, three units combined into one. Uh, let's keep taking the Sisyon. I assume that route has ended. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't know why they, d they did not do it this time, but uh, used to be in Civ 5. It'll tell you which the route the uh, uh, which route the trade route that it just ended previously belonged to so you could uh, quickly uh, reapply it and you don't have to research it so I, f I don't know what where I got the second uh, uh, spy from but I'm going to send him to The Congolese capital. Can I do that? And let's try one of these. Okay, one that comes. So we can do these missions, but before we can do that, we have to confirm placement. Oh, I thought I get to pick the missions afterwards. Maybe I get to pick when it gets there. Uh, let's see here. St. Louis needs food, but uh, what can I do here for food? I never get tired of this uh, music. It's really good soundtrack. The uh, industrial era theme has that Copeland-esque <coughs> tint to it with the trumpets and the horns. Kind of like uh, from Saving Private Ryan. It's very good. Oh, my first suburbs are going to be completed, so it'll be interesting to see. And it's nice that they what they did here is they actually made Tundra Tiles useful for a change, because in, in previous Civ games they're just completely worthless. Like, you might try to farm it and put mines on it to eke out something. Usually people would put forests on it in uh, Civ 4. <clears throat> um... So, in this one, it's nice that you can just put, like, residential districts on Tundra, and it's actually good for your uh, economy, because people want to live there. Uh, let's see here. Can we get a... Oh, we can't build an aqueduct. we build a harbor. Uh...
Let's work on a battleship. So, I mean, there's plenty of room here for them to say, this is your previous trade route for this route, you know, and then have you select it, rather than just throwing this at you. Because I can see that I've traded with this city before, but I don't know if I have any trade routes. So I didn't have to go over here and open up this panel and look and see, okay, I'm trading here. And uh, here are my internal trade routes. So I have one to, or no, this is the city state. So I have one to Los Angeles, one to Buffalo. Uh, I guess I want to send the same one to St. Louis again. Somehow it's only going to give me one food though. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep that going. I think that was to Shenyang actually, that trade route that just finished because I just got a trade depot. Uh, good, I'm doing good on money again. Let me buy another builder. I guess after the uh, turn starts again. Get another trade route. <clears throat> uh, it's, I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna buy that with gold, the lighthouse. Let's work on. Finish repairing that water mill there. Uh... Oh, because... No, I didn't repair that. I wonder what gave me an extra trade route. Oh, it's a harbor I just finished. Duh. Okay. Um, uh, let me buy... Move out this great engineer, um, buy a builder, can also buy a trader, yes I can, okay, perfect, uh, we'll build another farm here. So right now this farm is giving me two food, but I think if I cluster them out, I get more food. Now it's giving me three food. Okay. 
I'm gonna repair the commercial hub. And this will... Yeah, this one needs to have a <clears throat> lumber mill for extra production and extra food here. Oh, and this here too. And then I'm gonna try to build a uh, neighborhood district here. I think we're short on housing for Washington. Oh, we have one extra, but we're not, we're almost near the cap, so. Okay. Uh, let's keep him in Washington. Uh, confirm placement, we'll do counter spy. And it will send us to Shenyang for extra gold. I guess the Rough Riders don't have an upgrade path because here, the cavalry, I can't upgrade it either. And I, I can't upgrade my knights either to, uh, to a Rough Rider. So I can't just have a bunch of horses lying around waiting for the Rough Riders to pop up. Which I guess is good for balance. You don't want uh, slingshot strategies like that where you save a bunch of gold, build a bunch of crappy units, and then upgrade them all at once. Oh, I have a unit I need to move here. Okay, let's uh, fortify that. And that was a fairly common strategy in Civ, uh, in Civ games where, you know, your, your human advantage over the AI essentially is you know what's going to come ahead based on tech tree unlock. So you would just have units that you normally wouldn't use lying, lying there waiting for, for your upgrades. And I think they, from my understanding, they've... Uh, Oh, okay. Greece is democracy now. So they've uh, split up some of the units so that there's a heavy version of that unit and a light version of a unit. So heavy cavalry become tanks, and then the light version becomes uh, something else. Like what you see with the range units, there's the artillery, and then there's the cannons that I'm using. And the cannon path starts with the archers, uh, and then the artillery are just their own thing. Get a neighborhood set up. Uh, good appeal here. I'm going to put it here because these are relatively good tiles. Actually, I'm going to put it here. This is a very nice scenic place, and it's tundra anyway, so it's not going to be that useful. So we're going to put a neighborhood here. Uh, what do I want? Is New Orleans uh, needing... Uh, I guess they could use some housing. Two eighty for four housing. Yes, Build one here. Uh, another trade route has ended. St. Louis. I think this is an internal trade route that I have to send to LA. Or Buffalo. Yeah, I have my trader to LA, so this one will continue going to Buffalo for now. another uh, Congo Congolese archer which cities are short on housing Buffalo Rio
This is weird. I'm used to the game warning you when enemy units are nearby, but, you know, I didn't see it until they're actually there. I think the uh, notification system is a little bit weird. traveling bank going there. New Orleans needs more housing, okay. A lot of units there. I gotta focus now on knocking out their knights. I'm gonna pull some of my units over from here. Where is my artillery, by the way? Oh, it's right here. I just used it. Okay, now I'm planted. What can I do? Operate two levels higher for 24 turns. That will take eight turns to do that. And then I can probably increase my chances of doing some of these things. Mm, steel. Okay, let's go with that. Oh, interesting. Spies will operate at two levels higher. Mission objective. Duration, eight turns. Our intelligence projects, okay, projects, 100%. So this is 100%, sure thing, so we'll take that, and then we'll come back in eight turns to improve. Improve our chances of doing something else.
Goodbye. Simply seagulls that flock to our shores now. If we build a seaside resort, we may be able to benefit from this new attraction to the ocean. If you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you read the newspaper, you're misinformed. A world without radio is a deaf world. Oh, we get a film studio, that's good. Angeles, so I'm missing New York. Let's keep that going. Give me democracy.
So yeah, one thing I realize is I can hover over Domination Victory and I'll see the relative power of military. And it's kind of weird. I have a fairly advanced military compared to uh, the Congolese, but it's saying that they're way more powerful than I am. And I don't know how it counts it. I think my power actually dropped when I started combining my units for uh, Army Corps, so it may simply be multiplying unit not count by the unit rating, so that might not be an accurate measure. I, I wonder if they'll patch that. I mean, I can see that they have a lot of units, but these are all single units. They're, oh, there's one core here. That's a core unit. <clears throat> and it's there about the pillage, so I want to kill this off next turn if I can. Okay, I got another artillery. Um, let's build some more units. Oh, I need to build an aerodrome. I need seven population, which I'm almost there for. Mm, can I build? Let's build a. Uh,
If God had really intended men to fly, he'd make it easier to get to the airport. Recruit a great writer. Touche, great scientist. Professional sports. Get him an overkill, but just see how powerful it is. My units, I mean. Gonna drive them all the way back. It's really no. I'm about to finish my neighborhood here, and I think after this wait is over, it's it a good time to end a term. That no system, not even the most inhuman, can continue to exist without an ideology. Okay, uh, where do we want to end this Christ the Redeemer? Try that.
I like the um, more modern rendition of that theme song again. It's <clears throat> has some drums going there. Alright, I had meant to end the episode about a turn ago, so I think now is the time to end it before I forget again. After I clear out all this junk. Okay, let's, uh, what can I do? with that route. Okay. Build these guys up. Alright, I think this is a good place to end. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.